Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to chat to you about shooting swimwear backlit in the golden hour. Just before we get into the video, I'd like to mention that I edited all the photos in today's video using my Lightroom presets. I used the variety of my packs and I adjusted the settings a tiny bit to suit the images. If you'd like to check them out, it's on www.anitstovska.eu slash shop. I'm going to put the link down below. If you'd like to check them out, make sure to use the code YouTube10 to get a 10% off your purchase. Those of you who are familiar with my channel know that I do love shooting in the natural light in the golden hour. I find that it's one of the most flattering times of the day to shoot your swimwear. It gives you really beautiful highlights, really soft shadows, and in general, it's just really beautiful light to work with. As you guys also know, I usually shoot in the direct sunlight, but this time I decided to be a bit different. Where we were, there was a little tidal pool close by, and I thought it was really, really interesting because it was red and turquoise, and I just thought that the colors looked so nice against the model's skin. So I thought it would be really, really cool to put her in a jacket, a jean jacket, and white swimwear and trainers in there just because i thought it would look quite cool with that mix of colors i thought that the white trainers would contrast very well with her darker skin tone and in general i just thought it would make a very interesting color scheme Because the sun was setting, we were getting the beautiful golden highlight behind her, which I thought was really beautiful. Um, then I also noticed when I put her down on the ground, when she was sitting down, I was able to get that beautiful golden flare because I was cutting out the white background. So instead of just pointing up with having loads of white sky around, I thought that maybe pointing down into that area so there is no white space would be quite much more interesting and it did work much better. I find and you know we had so much beautiful golden light as well to play around with i did spray her with my usual um olive oil spray which gave her really really nice glow i really lathered it in this time um you know sometimes i don't put on that much but this time i literally she was dripping in oil <laughs> and i mean it um and it just gave her such a lovely glow and the photos just popped even more i find when shooting backlit and if you apply quite a lot of oil the images look quite nice even if you don't have direct light to be reflecting of the oil if you apply enough it is going to give you a lovely lovely sheen on the body it's going to make the tan look darker and deeper just because the model is going to be facing away from the sun so it's going to add some more definition and darkness into the tan which i think is quite nice if you're trying to get a really goldeny you know rich deep um, dark tan we ended up shooting until the sun was down and we were in the twilight time. We had that beautiful tiny uh, bit of a blue cast in the sky which I really liked. Um, obviously I had to boost my ISO quite a bit by then because it was getting darker and darker and you know we were losing the light so um, some of the images might be a bit grainy but to be honest I didn't really mind as I usually add grain in Lightroom anyway afterwards. I think it worked quite well we also had the little moon in the background which i thought was really really cool and in general i just really really enjoyed experimenting with the light level okay guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this little video if you did please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time